What's going on everyone? Today I'm going to be beating a Lego Fortnite. Let's check it out. Alright, so today I'm going to go over all the mid and end game things you can get uh, in Lego Fortnite. But uh, if you're just getting started and you want a quick tutorial, you can check out my last video down in the description below. Alright, so last video we went over the uncommon axe and pickaxe, uh, but once you move towards the mid game, you're going to be looking at the rare axe and rare pickaxe. Similar idea, you need to go to the desert biome to get amber to make this forest axe. And once you get that forest axe, you can go inside the cavern in the desert biome and then uh, you can get some flex wood. So that's to make the rare pickaxe. Pretty similar to the uncommon, just instead of the grassland biome, it's in the desert biome. And then finally, to get to the epic, you're going to be in the snow biome, winter biome, whatever you want to call it. Um, same thing, the, the copper bar you would have found in inside the desert biome cavern. And then once you do that, you can uh, get frost pine to make this pickaxe. Now, frost pine, you actually don't need to go inside caverns to get that, like uh, the flex wood as well as the, the knot wood. Uh, for frost pine, it's just these Christmas looking trees. Uh, yeah, so they're they're everywhere. They're really easy to get. They're, they're outside the cavern. Uh, you just gotta watch out for the cold. You can eat uh, hot pepper um, and there's other recipes as well. And then moving on, uh, so yeah, similar thing, copper bars inside the caverns at the desert biome. Well, copper is, and then you would craft, what is it? Right, so you would craft this metal smelter to turn rough copper into copper bars. Same thing with iron, you need this to turn iron into iron bars from the snow biome. All these ingredients you can find in the desert biome cavern. So yeah, that's uh, how you get bars and then you can make these long swords here. Uh, similar thing. This is the epic crossbow. We'll be crafting all these today. Now, arguably the most important part, charms. So what actually give you more health, more defense. Um, these are all things you would acquire in the snow biome uh, inside the cavern. So let's start with this charm of resilience. Heavy wool thread you find inside chest, inside the snow biome cavern. Iron bars, you get iron inside the snow biome cavern. Uh, and then you smelt it using the smelter we talked about earlier. Cursed bones, you have to slay skeleton wolves inside the snow biome caverns and they drop these. Not to be confused with Arctic Claw. So they're also in the snow biome, but outside the cavern, and they're snow wolves or ice wolves, whatever you want to call them. And then Malachite Slabs to mine Malachite. It's also outside the cavern, but uh, it's not just anywhere in the snow biome, it's on the side of these ice walls, whatever you want to call it. Like these ledges over here, you just build stairs on top and then just walk around the whole circle and you should find some. So yeah, that's everything to make this one of these epic charms here, the charm of resilience. Uh, health charm, another epic one. Yeah, we talked about all these except for the brute scale. So the uncommon brute scale is just killing a brute in the grasslands. They'll drop that. For a sand scale, it's just killing the brute in the desert biome. And then last but not least, what we're going to be doing today to, to actually beat the game is beat the final brute. So the most difficult boss in the game, which is the frost brute, which we will find in the snow biome. So yeah, these first two I have already. I've already crafted these. So the goal is to get that final charm to get max health and max defense. First things first, let's craft a epic sword and epic crossbow. All right. 
right, so now we have the epic long sword, the epic crossbow, epic pickaxe, and the epic axe. Well, we don't really need these since our goal is to try to get the frost brute, but uh, we do have those. Now, the grappler, honestly, is kind of expensive to make since it requires copper bars, which isn't difficult to get, but uh, I feel like it is a finite resource. And blast powder as well isn't... It's uncommon, but you don't find too many of them. And even worse, there are only 10, I guess, grappler uses you have. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty good, but again, since it's only got 10 uses, I don't really think it's worth it. The good thing worth getting, though, is the glider. You just build a, I believe, a loom. Yeah, here. Then you could get some wool, make some fabric. And this has been really helpful for me, actually. I'll just show you a quick example. All right, so yeah, like uh, if you're ever traveling somewhere and you climb up, let's say one of these mountains, you can just glide right off. For my starting point, I kind of look at where I want to go and then just glide towards that direction. Cause yeah, it's super helpful. Just remember that energy bar at the bottom, if that runs out, you will fall. So if you're too high, I recommend dropping and then deploy the glider again right before you hit the ground so you don't die. <laughs> All right, so since we've got the epic bow, we're gonna need a lot of arrows for this frost brute because I'm pretty sure this thing can one-shot you. So we'll bring some dynamites as well. Now we're gonna bring some spicy burgers just because since we're in the snow biome, we're gonna be cold and we're gonna die from from being too cold. As you can see, this thing will give you cold resistance for 10 minutes, which will be perfect while we're looking for the brute. And we've got some other healing items here as well. So the pizza, fruit pie, meat pie, and the bread will be our main uh, source of healing. But if you can see here, the bread is super good. It does 10 hearts and 10 hunger, so it, it heals really well. Next, we have the meat pie, which heals for 20 hearts and also gives you four bonus hearts. So right before the brute, or right before we see the Arctic brute, I think I'm gonna eat this so that we get the extra hearts. The fruit pie heals for 15, gives you two minutes of energy and the best heals in the game. So 25 hearts plus five bonus hearts. So we're gonna consume this if we're getting super low on health and we need a boost. And yeah, all those items you can make with this oven here. As you can see, all the ingredients are pretty easy to get. No flour, pumpkin, meat, egg. But this cheese is the most difficult item to get out of all the ingredients because you can only find them in chests inside the snow biome caverns. So they are pretty rare, but of course they give you so much health and bonus hearts that it's definitely worth it. So yeah, that is everything that you need to know to beat the game. Now, like I said, our final task to actually complete the game is to get the frost brute scale here and make the regeneration charm and have max health and max defense to fill out this third slot here. You can only have three charms. If you see the symbol here, this third one is a charm, but this fourth one is only mobility. So we'll just leave the glider in there for now. And another very important end game. Well, you can get this mid game, but you don't get all the essences until end game, but it's this essence table. So you can actually upgrade your weapons and tools. So some of these are pretty expensive, like a blast core is a pretty limited resource. Not too difficult to get, but uh, I would say limited for sure. And durability, pretty easy, but what I'm going to add on all my weapons and tools are damage, durability, and luck. Luck is just a chance to drop extra loot from the enemy. So yeah, let's apply them on my longsword and uh, crossbow. Okay, so for a sword... Let's add the essence of damage. Nice. 
Next is the Essence of Durability. Just make it, makes it last a little bit longer. Not too much, but still worth. And finally, the Essence of Luck. All right, now let's do the same thing with the crossbow. Okay, so now we are fully loaded with all three essences on our longsword and crossbow. We've got dynamites, cold heals, regular heals, ton of arrows. Now it's time to go for the Arctic Frost Brew. I'm so cold. Oh yeah, and one thing you guys need to remember is uh, because I'm in the cold area, in the snow biome, I am bringing this inner fire charm to increase resistance to cold temperature. Still not enough, as you can see, I'm still cold, so I am gonna consume this spicy burger. that should help. There we go. Yeah, and since this is the end game area, you do have to be very careful. Some of these NPCs, they will one-shot you if you don't have the proper defense and uh, health. Even these, the wolves, spiders, all, literally anything can one-shot you. And the brutes are pretty rare in general. Like, I don't, even the grassland ones, the uncommon ones, I don't see too often. I think I've only seen two so that's kind of what makes finishing this game so hard is because the frost fruit is going to be difficult to find plus you're going to need to keep yourself warm the entire time just even looking for it So there is the ice wolf, uh, kind of looks like it's in the grassland but it is part of the snow biome and that's where you get the arctic claws. There's the goliath, the frost root, oh gosh, alright, this is the moment we've been preparing for, let's get it. AOE and I'm pretty sure it one shot me so you have to dodge out for sure. Like this thing? That thing will one shot me. How much HP does this thing have? Frickin' did it. Here it is. The Frost Brute Scale. Alright, so yeah, to beat the game, let's craft this inner fire charm. And we'll be max health and max defense. 
Wow, that thing had so much HP. I threw a bunch of dynamites at it, hit it with like 50 arrow shots. Oh, and yeah, there's Malachite. It's usually on, yeah, the side of these ice walls. I don't know why it's on the snow there. It's the first time seeing that. So we now have everything to craft this inner fire charm. There we go. Now let's replace it with our rare inner fire charm. Turn it into an epic one. And let's see what happens to our max health, max defense. Jeez! 42 defense. That is just crazy. Yeah, so I believe 18 hearts and 42 defense. So that is fully maxed out. And yeah, that's basically beating the game. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please consider subscribing and liking. That's it for today. Peace.